I'm going to talk to you guys about something pretty serious, something that is going to help you get to your next level when it comes to going into the next year. It doesn't matter what year you're watching this, but right now we're going into the year 2024. And you may be sitting there wondering, like, why do I keep missing opportunities? Why does it feel like you know you have all this talent, you have all this, um, these desires, these hopes, these dreams, right? But it just kind of feels like you're stagnant. Like you're in like this, like this bubble of like things just like almost like you're invisible, right? So if you're feeling invisible, you're going to want to definitely listen up, listen up and you're going to want to stay tuned because I'm about to unlock some stuff for you. And it always gets really juicy as people start to ask questions. We start to dive deep and we get into it. So you could be feeling like you're looking around and you're really genuinely happy that things are going well and unfolding for other people around you. But you could be feeling like, well, why isn't it happening for me, right? Whether it's a job promotion or, you know, opportunities to travel more or, you know, people around you getting more money or whatever arena it is. And what I want to say is a lot of times your opportunities and the blessing that's just sitting there, it's like literally sitting here hovering, it's ready for you. But because you're so stuck in the past and you're, you're on like repeat and rewind of other things in the past again, anyone coming in, I'm happy to answer questions about health, fitness, mindfulness, all that good stuff. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep talking about this unlocking, right? So God's like, here's the, here is your blessing. Like your blessing is sitting right here, but like we can't give it into your physical reality because you are worried about the past. So your blessings here but you're back here, <laughs> okay? So what do we do about that? You have to get so clear that nothing unwavers you from your knowing of what you deserve and what you desire. So what do I mean by that? A lot of times when there's something that you know is for you, like you know that you're supposed to get the body of your dreams or you know you're supposed to eat healthier or you know you're supposed to maybe um, start a healing journey, or you know that you're supposed to start a business so you can start bringing in more income to sow more seeds of health and wealth into your family. But say you remember a time in the past where you didn't take the opportunity, or maybe where you, you made a mistake, or you took an L, or you made a bad decision, you're living there but meanwhile, we're here right now, right now, but you're stuck here. So God's like, okay, well, I'm ready to like, I'm ready to literally like, it's almost like, okay, this is what's very, this is a very interesting um, example, but it's almost like we're a telescope or what is it? A tete you know, where you're like, when you, when you're in class and science class and you looked at like, what is it called? A, you guys know what I'm talking about. And what you're doing is you're viewing what's in front of you, right? And, but the viewer, okay, the viewer is God. It's your higher self. And it's saying, okay, you are the telescope. I'm just going to say a telescope. It's not a telescope, but it's, you guys, it's something like that. And God's like, so God's here. You are the physical so the viewer is God, you're the physical telescope, and what you're experiencing is what you're viewing, right? So it has it has eyes and ears. Imagine the telescope has eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and it can touch. That's what you are. And God's like, well, I'm ready to place this in front of you so you could start experiencing it, right? I'm ready to place the money. I'm ready to place your ideal partner. I'm ready to place your... Um, whatever, the home of your dreams in front of you so you can be, be experiencing it, right? But God's sitting back like, man, the telescope's like, it's still stuck. It's still clogged. It's still, right? So that's, I mean, that's kind of a weird example, but 
I got to figure out what it's called first and then maybe I'll use that example again in the future. But that's what, that's what's essentially happening. Like God is ready to give you and bless you, but you, you put out the desire. So God's like, it's already done. Like you, the, the desire is there. Well, number one, see, now it gets deep. God really places the desire there giving you a glimpse of what your future has to hold. And then you're affirming it like, Ooh, yes, I desire that. Right. And God's like, it's, it's done. And so it is, but you are so stuck in your past trauma. You're so stuck with drama. You're so stuck in numbing yourself with, you know, alcohol, partying, um, other vices that you may have. Right. And we're not doing that in 2024. We're not doing it. So if you find that that has been something that you know that you're doing, like it's, it's, it's nudging at you and it's getting at you because you know that the magic that's going to happen and uh, unfold in your life is in the work that you need to do to fix some things. So let me say that again. The magic that you want to see out in your reality, the magic all is sitting on the other side of you doing some work that you don't want to do the inner work, right? The healing, the journaling, the meditating, the eating better, the drinking more water, the getting rid of toxic friends, toxic people. And let's really talk about like toxic people. Cause I think like everybody pushes it out. Like it's everybody else. Like, well, these toxic people are in my life or this toxic work environment or th this toxic food. But who's engaging with it. It's you. It was me. It's been me in, in several situations. So if it, you need to cut out toxic people because all they're really a reflection of you. So if you have a lot of toxic people or people that only want to gossip or people that only want to do drugs or people that only want to get hammered and get effed up every weekend. Well, that's a reflection of you. And when you just kind of swallow your pride and really realize that, yeah, there's going to be times where, you know, you might have a couple drinks at a celebration or an occasion or whatever, but when it becomes like a way to get through life or a way to numb, then there's no room, like you're, you're, you're clogged, like your spirit is clogged for you to be able to receive the manifestation, receive the blessing for you to be able to experience it. So you gotta, it's time to do like introspection. Like if you have if you notice that things are happening for everyone else except you, like there's something with you, there's something blocking you. There is a, um, a, whether it depends on whatever you think, whatever you believe, but there is a limiting belief. 99, 99.9% of the time, that's what it is. It's a limiting belief. It's, you don't really think you deserve it. You don't really think you can have it. People where you're from don't usually get those things. People where you're from don't know about wealth building. People where, where you're from don't eat healthy. People where you're from don't have healthy relationships. People where you're from, um, you know, they, right? Like, or, well, this is how I was raised. That's a big one. Well, how I was raised is this, so this is what we do. And so you already cut off the potential goodness and the potential beauty of what God's blessings wants what God wants to bless you with is a shower of blessings is on the other side of your limiting belief. And so you have to do the inner work to work through those things. Right. Um, again, I'm answering any questions that anyone has about health, fitness, mindfulness. Should I have my other phone up here? So if you find that that's you, and it's most of us in some areas, we're all kind of doing it including myself in certain areas of our life, right? Some areas we're nailing it, some areas need more attention. And so if there is something that you know you really want, it's time for you to figure out why you don't have it. Because really, if you think about it, <clears throat> if somebody has it, and so, especially several people, like if there's a certain desire you have and several people have it and like you don't, the proof is already in the pudding that you can have that because every, because people are figuring out how to manifest that for themselves. So really you should start to look at those things like, oh my gosh, it's getting closer to me. Oh my gosh, they they got it done. Let me follow a couple of steps that they did. Oh my gosh, 
why are the okay let's what's the theme like i noticed five people in my life have this certain desire that i want like what are they all doing that i'm not like you can start to flip it on yourself and start to like not do the self-sabotage and you start to really dig in and say okay are they more organized right are they um less like bad tempered um are they what, what like what's their lifestyle like like do they engage in certain things oh wow they so all these they really don't engage with that um you know just you start to really dissect like look at things like an experiment and i think that that will like release some of the pressure of like maybe some bad decisions you've done in the past or you know while you're overthinking like everybody else has everything except me kind of like mindset so um like I would do this a lot, like when I was training my uh, managers, like back in the day, and there would be people that really wanted to be promoted. Again, I was a district manager and I was over like general managers. Um, I was over store managers. I was over um, assistant managers and I was over managers in training. So I had like a lot of people under me. And so I would deal a lot, deal with this a lot. And you know, they would be like, well, what do I need to do to get promoted? or I feel like that person got promoted and I'm better and da, da 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 And instead of like doing the victim blaming, it's like you have, all you do is have control of your own, your own immediate reality, right? So once you start to focus on what you can control, then all of a sudden you become a magnet. So that's what I would tell people. It's like, okay, well, you're so worried about, you're like dissecting their numbers and where like, where there's one, maybe area that like you excel way better in like a certain department let's just say like it was like they th this particular store got like more sales than this store but then that that manager got promoted to the next level but little do they know that they have a more better capacity to train people they have a better capacity to keep calm under pressure they have a better capacity to problem solve and so this person's so worried about one aspect and they're over here freaking out, but the whole time there's really, it's a protection. So like a lot of times, like, yeah, maybe a store, like one particular store made more sales, but it could just be ironically, it makes more sales because it's just in a better location. Like it's in a busier location, right? So a lot of times it would be to their benefit. Like, okay, this person needs to just get, developed and like get, gain some more skills in this area and then they're going to knock it out of the park and I'll, I won't I can't wait to promote them but I'm going to protect them but bef before putting them in a position that they can't handle which is what God does God puts us in pos positions like if you're not somewhere it's because God's like you literally will will fumble it like you'll fumble the bag you'll fumble the you'll fumble the guy you'll fumble the girl you'll fumble the opportunity so let me keep you back so you can keep figuring it out, keep doing your inner work, keep healing, keep keep experimenting. And then when you have it, you're going to have it and you're going to hold it, right? We see this all the time with um, people that become famous like really, really quickly. And then they like just as quick as they became famous, like they drop the ball and like go on drugs. They end up at a drug rehab center and end up on one of those shows where it's like a reality TV show and they're like in a rehab center. And then now that's what they're known for. They're not even known for like they're singing or they're why they became famous to begin with, right? So we see it a lot. God's like, sometimes God will even give you give you it. Like, okay, whatever, you think you deserve it so much? Go ahead, here you go. And then you fumble it, and then you're now you're even lower. So if God doesn't have you somewhere, it's because take it, take it like excitement. Like, oh my gosh, like I get to still figure this out. Like I get, like I'm still breathing. I still have my whatever all your t all, just run run like a quick inventory of your the blessings in your life i'm inside of a warm place during winter time i'm i have a peloton oh my gosh oh my god i have my legs like my strong legs to keep me going wow like i have my my arms to like be animated when i'm talking like i just am i'm so excited and happy and abundant like my life is so abundant right and then you just focus on those things you focus on you run inventory raise your vibration and then you start to really dig in like, okay, you know, um, since I am in a certain season, I can, I have time to focus on this, right? So say, let's just say like you are, um, 
you want to start a business, right? And you're like, I want to start a business, but I'm overwhelmed. I want to start a business, but I don't know where to start. Just be happy that you get to figure it out. Like, be happy that you're like, okay, you know, I have no idea where to start, but I'm just going to literally start with how to start a business on YouTube. And like for this week, like that will, like, I'm just going to research and learn about businesses, right? Or if you already have a business and it's just like not working, okay, well, this week I'm just going to learn about marketing instead of being like, oh my God, everybody else keeps getting more sales. I'm better. My product's better. It's like, well, no, like if, if it's not working out, there's something missing. And so I think that's why I got promoted so quickly when I was younger to a district manager over other people that had, like I got promoted to being a district manager in less than four years when I was 26 years old, like in less than four years. And so again, I'm, hap I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. This is an open forum. Any questions about health, fitness, mindfulness that you have for me, I'm happy to answer and help you out with. Um, also too, if you watch this on the replay, I'm also happy to answer any questions and do a video on it, a live video, or I can respond to you down in the comments. Make sure to like the videos, make sure to share the videos. Um, I love that you guys are on this journey with me, growing my channel, so I do appreciate it. So that is, um, so yeah, I think that was the reason why. I Instead of like, I didn't ever, I don't know why I didn't do the woe was me. Maybe I had a couple moments of that, but I was very, you know what it was? I was very unattached to the outcome. Like when I was a manager, when I had my first job out of college, I, my first job out of college, I, I ended up staying there for almost 10 years. And um, my first job out of college, I kind of wasn't like, I just wasn't attached. I wasn't like, oh my God, I have to become the CEO of this company. I just was like, I'm just going to be where I'm at and like do the best I can and be extraordinary just where I'm at. So like if it was just learning how to ex execute the register, I just like became an ex like an expert at the register and became really quick with it. And then if it was like, you know, beefing up my customer service skills, that's just what I worked on for three months, right? Like it wasn't like, I have to be here. So a lot of times God just wants you to be still and be in the moment and control what you can control in the moment. Do not go through repetitive banter in your mind of what could have happened, the shoulda, woulda, coulda, this is what I wish happened. It's like, it's, it's gone. It doesn't exist. Everybody else is not seeing what you're seeing in your head. You are the only one experiencing that. So it's very real for you in your reality, but like nobody else is experiencing. Even if you did something super embarrassing. Oh my gosh, I have the funniest story. This is so funny. And if some of you guys didn't make it this far in the video, but for those of you that did, it's gonna get, you're going to get a funny personal story right now. So when I was, a, was at this company, um, when I got promoted... We had to do this thing where like all the new DMs had to like stand in front of the whole, all the other, there's over 300 other DMs, right? All, all over the world. So we're at this conference and every, all the new DMs had to stand up and just say like, hi, my name is Sianna Singh and I'm from the LA County or I'm from LA district and like a fun fact or something, right? Like it was super simple. So I remember like they were going around and I was like, oh my God, I really have to like go pee like really, really bad. <laughs> I really had to go to the bathroom and um they were like well but just do it after i was like no, no no i don't think i can hold it like i need to go so i ran really quick to the restroom because like they were going around each group and i kind of timed it in my head like okay i'll be able to be back when it's like our our region's turn so i went to the bathroom really quick and i put like you know it's a public bathroom so i put they didn't have like the um whatever the toilet sheets so I took toilet paper and I lined the whole toilet paper, right? I, even, I don't care if I was in a rut. I was like, you know, I'm a clean person. So I was like, okay, let me line the whole toilet. And um, so whatever, did what I had to do. I got up super quick, right? Like I just like, of course, whatever, you guys get it. I went to the bathroom and then I pulled up my pants and then I came out, right? Like I didn't like really like look at myself or check myself. So I go out and I go and sit down, right? And so it gets to our our time. And they're like, okay, you know, and next up is Sienna. So I stand up. And I just remember, for some reason, I caught a glimpse. Like I stood, like, you know, I'm sitting there. And I go to walk forward. And I, like, got a glimpse of, like, everybody behind me. And they're like, and I'm like, 
what is it? So I looked down and the toilet paper from the toilet, like the toilet, when I lined the toilet was in my pants. So I stood up and I was like, and so my boss literally goes, like, she like tried to rope, like, she like had my back actually. Um, she like pulled it out, but like a couple people still saw it. So I was so thrown off, like, and discombobulated that I was like, that's the first thing I said. So I just stood up in front of everybody, these 300 people. And I go, hi, I just had toilet paper in my pants. Um, but yeah, I'm Sienna. And, and like, so I just say that to say, like, that's a funny memory. It's so interesting because I actually took it as funny. And I, other people, like, other people later were like, you handled that amazingly. I would have been humiliated. I just transmuted it into humor. Many, many years later, nobody, that is not a blip in anybody's radar. <laughs> like that moment of me having toilet paper, maybe one person like might randomly think of it, but like ever, like not one person ever brought it up again. And so I just say that to say like, that was such a penetrating moment in my mind. But like, if I were to harbor on that and be like, oh my God, like I was so embarrassed. I can't believe that happened. Like I, I just was like, okay, it happened. And it's just in the past. And now it's a funny story I can tell you. But other people that experienced that with me in that moment, they're not thinking that. So this is why I'm telling you that, that, fun, that story. How many things are you rewinding over and over and over in your head that like you are just putting yourself through the suffering and the torture? No one else, even if it's a, a moment you were involved with or it was a pretty bad moment, like it's over, it's done. The only one keeping it alive and put, pouring breath into it, pouring a life into it, is you in your brain. So the more we leak, that's leaking our energy. It's like if you could like imagine like an energy field around us and then there's like holes in your energy because like you're constantly thinking about that. So it's like you're pouring out like all this amazing divinity that God blesses you for this moment you're deciding to use it and like think about like this moment over here and like just pour all your all your divi divine energy your life force energy your willpower for the day and just leaking it out and because you're thinking about this as opposed to being right here right now getting the life of your dreams make a choice decide for 2024 like if you are rewinding things over and over in your head then do the inner work journal Go to therapy, get a life coach. Um, I'm gonna be offering life coaching soon. Get a life coach, right? Whether it's me, whether it's somebody else. Um, you know, make sure to subscribe and, and like too. Also too, if you need to get organized, if you're like, oh my gosh, I just feel so overwhelmed, I'm not organized, get my calendar. There's a calendar I have to, on my website. It's a hyperlinked digital calendar. It's 50% off and it, is literally the dopest, funnest thing to use. And it's all on your phone. And it will change your life for 2024. Like it will get you on track for 2024. So if you have a problem with organization skills, you bought a calendar every year and you never use it. I'm not talking about the ones that like the, 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 the boring ones that iPhone has to offer, like the basic one that it comes with. This is completely different. So tap in, it's, it's called Hyperlink Digital Calendar. Click it, get it. It's 50% off right now. I'm going to put it up to the regular price at the beginning of the year, but you have it forever. It's something that you can buy once and always have it. So that's, what's really dope. So you can get it for 50% off. Um, but you just got to make it, it's time for you to decide. It's your choice. You, you have control and dominion over this moment right now. Right? So like right now I was like, okay, I want to do live. But I also like want to do the Peloton. I want to, you know, get my, because I told myself that I want to um, be like kind of like doing two a days, even if I just move my legs, right? Um, so whether I do my hardcore workout in the evening and then do the softer one in the morning, or I flip it where I do the hardcore workout in the morning and then I do a softer one like after dinner, just moving my legs. So um, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to do both, right? I have control. Right? I have dominion. Not like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, what, I have all this stuff to do. No. Okay, what's the priorities for today? What, what's important to me? What do I want to knock out? What can I pair together? 
and like make and call it a day like make life easier let life be let life be easier in 2024 allow it to flow follow the nudges like the inspired nudges that you have right so any questions before i hop off um again make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe and i'm so excited for all my beautiful subscribers that have been with me this far when i just pop on my lives and have just been talking i appreciate you guys all tapping in with me because the reason why i lives are my favorite out of the shorts and the regular videos i feel like just talking with you in the moment is just more, it lights me up more so i know the the video quality is not all perfect and the lighting and the bells and the whistles and the editing but I appreciate you guys tapping in with me and growing with me and all of us evolving and elevating together um, because I know that, you know, we live in, in an age where everything's edited and everything's glitzy and glammy and it's just like, look, let's just get down, get to business and like make these changes in our life and like worry about the glitz and the glam as it comes, right? Or we, we it is glitzy and glammy. You can make, this is glitzy and glammy to dive deep. It is. So... You'd be surprised with the beauty of life and how it unfolds when you start to beautify on the inside. It really, you really do reflect on the outside. Like right now, to me, this is glitz and glam. Like I'm having a blast right here, right now, talking about evolving with you guys. So it's, it's all perspective, right? I'm thankful again to be moving my legs. I'm thankful to be in a, in a safe, clean environment I'm happy to be in LA where I'm looking at the sun in December right like I, I like my line art on my wall like it brings me joy like it's feminine it's beautiful and like you just start to enjoy and be in the moment with where you're at and then God will just start to beautify things even more because that's what you're attracting if you're attracting self-sabotage if you're attracting complaining if you're attracting um the woe is me energy that's all you're going to receive so, all right, well, if there's no questions, I'm going to go ahead and exit. I did a 30-minute moving my legs session with you guys, so I appreciate the few people that did stay on with me. And if there's other questions, I'm going to tap with you guys later. I don't think that there was. Just triple check. Okay, perfect. All right. I hope everyone has a beautiful, beautiful Friday, and... Oh my gosh, Christmas is on Monday. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you don't, happy holidays, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.